All right, gang, in the next episode of our video series and course, we're going to talk about storage types. Let's go straight into it. So with different types of storage, you got two types mostly. So they're either volatile or non-volatile. So volatile means that if you turn the power off, everything that was stored on that storage device is erased. If it's non-volatile, everything that was stored on that device, it'll be there the next time that you turn on the power. So here are different types. So we already talked about RAM, right? So we saw, um, if you're in the course, you saw uh, the kid actually put a motherboard together and do all that type of stuff and just, you know, really rock out, right? So RAM is volatile. We said the more RAM, the better, that's great. And just remember, whatever is put on RAM, boom, boom, is put on RAM, put on RAM, put on RAM, by the computer whenever you restart your computer whatever that computer loses power everything on that ram is erased and it starts fresh right because you got to think about it if you got 16 gigs of ram and it actually saves stuff every time every time you would get back on a computer you will have less and less and less ram so that's why every time you get on a computer you will have that ram for whatever functions you're trying to do right then okay now the rest of these options are going to be non-volatile. So when we talked about hard drives, when we talked about solid state drives, when we talked about stuff like that, all of those are non-volatile, meaning that if you turn the computer off, you ain't got to worry about when you wake up, all your stuff is gone, right? Optical drives, non-volatile. Flash drives, non-volatile. Makes sense? RAM, brace everything. Hard drives, they or non-volatile. Now, quick quiz. What's the difference between a traditional hard drive and a solid state drive? Five, four, three, two, one. Hopefully you got it. So a solid state drive, just remember, it has no moving parts. An optical drive, um, that's just talking about CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray discs, meaning that if the computer loses power and you got the DVD inside of the optical drive, it's not gonna erase. Flash drive is the same thing. If you have a little thumb drive plugged in and you turn the computer off, it's not going to erase everything on that actual drive. Now, with that being said, um, don't get this confused with unplugging things while the computer is turned on or while it's reading and writing. So let's say we got a thumb drive and we're trying to download something to it or we're trying to upload something from it and we unplug it while the actual device is doing it. We can corrupt the data that's on there, all right? That's, uh, it pretty much says that. That's why you have to safely eject um, different devices, all right? But that's um, neither here nor there. Just remember that RAM, volatile, everything else, non-volatile. Now, this is another type of storage. And simply put, network attached storage or NAS is just, I'm connected to this network and I have a place as long as I'm on, my, on this network, I have a place where I can save stuff. Um, a lot of times we use this as, excuse me, a lot of times we use NAS as a file server. So a file server gives, you know, everybody that's on that network that has proper access in that network, that allows them to save stuff to the file server, move stuff from the file server, upload, download from the file server. It's just pretty much a server, a PC, a hard drive that is connected to the network that everybody has access to and can put stuff on or pull stuff from okay now this is uh, a little bit newer maybe you knew maybe you didn't know but cloud storage cloud storage sounds cool but long story short cloud storage is simply just a server a PC a hard drive somewhere that you're not physically at all right so the cool thing about cloud storage, it allows you to do all the stuff I just named, save stuff to, pull stuff from, download, upload stuff, anywhere you are as long as you have an internet connection. So NAS, as long as you're on that network, you can save stuff and do whatever you want to. Cloud storage, as long as you have an account and you are and you have internet access, you will have access to that um, storage device, right? Or storage um, place. So as the example says, Google Drive, Dropbox, iCloud, all of those are examples of cloud 